Hello guys, how are you doing? I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video we'll be specifically talking about the big change that has been introduced in the Express Entry system. I talked a little about it during this video, why the Express Entry Draw 166 was not conducted and yes, this was the reason why the Express Entry Draw was not conducted and why it may be delayed for a couple of weeks. So in this video, we'll talk about this big change, which is about the additional points that would be awarded to those people who have strong French language skills. So as they've mentioned it very clearly in bold in bigger fonts that there have been changes to the Express Entry system and you can now earn up to 50 additional points for strong French language skills. So if we click on this, we can get to know the details about it. It will directly take us to this section of the points table. So it is about these two points. If you score NCLC 7 or higher on all four French language skills and scored CLB 4 or lower in English, in that case, you'll score 25. Earlier it was 15. And now if you score NCLC 7 or higher in all French language skills and scored CLB 5 or higher on all four English skills, then you'll score 50 additional points. Scoring CLB 5 in English is very, very, very easy. If you can speak English a little bit, if you practice a little, you can easily score CLB 5. CLB 9 is the target for people. CLB 5 is like very easy. So I'm pretty sure that if you're able to understand what I am saying, you'd be easily able to score CLB 5. But the problem here is this NCLC 7 or higher in French language skills. So if you give yourself a chance to practice and learn French, I know it would take time. It's very easy to talk about it and it's very difficult to learn. But yes, it is a life changing opportunity for you. If you can learn French, you can easily score these 50 additional points and you know what is the importance of 50 points. It's a big, big number. And now talking about the impact of this big change on the cutoff score. If the change is big, the impact is also going to be big. I found out this link, a news archive back from 2017, when they started to avoid points to those people who had good French language skills. So you can read it out here. This is back from 2017. Starting on June 6, 2017, additional points will be awarded to candidates who have strong French language skills, right? And also you can check one more thing that other changes to the explicitary system plan for June include points for candidates with siblings in Canada. Now these two changes were introduced back in early June 2017. Why I'm going back is very important. I'm just trying to show you the impact of these changes in the cutoff score. So if you go back and check out that timeline, May 31, 2017 and June 28, 2017. These are the two draws where these, this change actually lied. June 6, 2017, it was between 66th draw and the 65th draw. You can see the difference, 413 points and then it rose to 449 points. So three reasons were here. First point is that they introduced more points for French speaking people. Secondly, they introduced more points for those who have siblings in Canada. That was a very big point, I believe. And the third is that there was a gap of four weeks during this timeline. So out of these three points in today's scenario, two points would apply that people would get more points for their strong French abilities. And the gap between the two CRS draws has increased more than two weeks, actually four weeks. So this is the big impact that the CRS cutoff score is going to get higher in the upcoming draws for sure. Nobody expected this change. This was a news that suddenly came up and it is all over the charts now. So if you have a score of 430, 440, in that case, you get 50 points if you learn French. And that will ensure that you reach for 80 or 490 points I'm pretty sure at 480 or 490 you'll certainly get the ITA one day or the another so guys this is a high time that you decide that if you actually want to immigrate to Canada if you're actually losing hopes on PNPs this is your chance you can learn French you can score NCLC 7 again having said that I would still say that it's very easier to advise and it's very very difficult to actually do it but yes if you want to change your life, if you want to achieve your Canadian dream, then yes, here's your chance. 
you can actually go on to learn French and score NCLC 7 in any of the tests like TCF Canada, TEF Canada and that will ensure you that you get more points and hence the ITA very soon as well. So all the doubts about this change that you were discussing in this video and in the Facebook group, I hope that are all resolved now. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? You should definitely click the subscribe button for this channel, Dream Abroad. Thanks again for watching this video.